Hey guys! So today I decided just to do another kind of chit chat foundation routine. Um, but this is just gonna be just gonna be um, my face. I'll stop and come back after I do my eyes because I don't want this to be like crazy long. And yes, I have the window open because it's a beautiful day. So you'll probably hear the birds singing as you are right now. But um, yeah. So let's just get started. Um, as always, I'm going to use my Philips Milk of Magnesia to help me stay matte. And um, you can pretty much use any brush. I like to use either this kind of angled kabuki from Sedona Lace or just Elf Flat Top Powder Brush. This is $3 at Target and you can use it for tons of different things. So, yeah. So I'm just going to put some of that all over. So, it's already getting pretty late in the day though, because I'm just a tired procrastinator. In the morning. I really want to hopefully film at least two videos today. Um, because I actually feel pretty good. These days I have a ton of days where I'm just like so tired and my mind's not all there and it's just not happening. Like I fully intended to do um, a pregnancy vlog last mm -hmm. week didn't happen. So then I'm going to take my eye primer. Obviously it's part of eyes, but this is just kind of the order that I do it. And just put that on. I'm going to prestige primed and ready eye primer. Alrighty. And then I'm going to take my Sarah McNamara Miracle Skin Transformer. Um, I've had this since last June and it is about to expire. So I'm trying to use it up. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. I do want to get another one. Just this does have a faster expiration because of the SPF. Um, but I do really like this primer. It's not as mattifying as the Murad one that I've been loving too. But... This does come with a lot more product though too. And it just kind of evens things out just a little bit. First, use my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer. I need another one of these too. Um, I use this stuff like crazy and I use it every single day. And I think it lasts me about four months. So, if you use less of it, it'll definitely last you like a normal person. <laughs> it'll definitely last you longer. So, I mean, even lasting four months for me, though, it's like, it's a better deal than just buying drugstore concealers. Plus, it just works amazingly. And I started finally using it as an eye primer after Jaclyn Hill had talked about how it actually has technology to... Well, not like technology, but, you know. Um, anyway, it's supposed to have something to help it, like, not crease. So that's why it does such a good job as an eye primer. So yeah, there you go. And then It Cosmetics by My Redness. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that with my 
Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. And I did just see a brush at Target that I thought about picking up. I should've just got it because it was $3. But they have a, a concealer blending brush that's maybe a little bit shorter, but it's about this size around um, from their studio line. So I thought about trying that to see how it compared. It looked like it was probably a tiny bit less dense, but I mean, that would be a good one to try. I'll have to pick it up and just let you guys know how it works because that's a really good affordable option because Sigma brushes are pricey and that's why I only own a few of them. Um, and their shipping is really only reasonable if you only order like a brush or two at a time otherwise it gets like crazy. I'm just going to use a tiny bit. <sighs> I'm just wearing a maternity hoodie because I'm usually just in my robe, but you don't want to see that, I don't think. Well, either way, I'm not going to be flashing y'all. Alright, she is moving. girl seriously makes my belly look like something out of an alien movie sometimes <laughs> it's kind of funny but yeah she's a little wiggle worm but I don't mind because at least I know she's doing good and then I'm just gonna set all of that a little bit if you're not super oily you don't need to do this but I am you could use pretty much any powder. I'm just using this Clinique Redness Solutions powder that my mom gave me. Just a yellow powder. Alright. So, I'm going to do my eyes. And then I will be right back. These lemon coconut macaroons from Sam's Club are so good. They come in like this big old container. And me and my husband just... Love them. <coughs> well, um, but yeah, I'm starving. I need something to hold me over. <laughs> so, um, I'm probably gonna even tell I'm self tanned because it's faded a little bit, and this one isn't quite as dark as I'd, as I would like. Um, but yeah, and my face is like totally faded because that fades super fast. And these lights wash me out even more, so I probably just look ghostly. But, um, when I have a fresher self tan, I use 130 mixed with my Cover FX drops. And, um, but today I'm going to use 125 since I'm a little more faded. Um, but yeah, I just love this combo of the matte poreless Maybelline Fit Me and the Cover FX Drops because they just add coverage to make it like the perfect coverage. But it's what they're made for. Um, and my beauty blender is like too beat up to use for foundation right now. So I'm using a brush. Yesterday I used my Sedona Lace 480, which I did like, um, but today I'm going to try out this complexion brush by Up and Up from Target, $6.99, so yeah, hopefully I like it. Um, Emily Noel 83 raved about it, so I'm hoping I really like it. So, oh, my nose is running. One second. Ugh. Mm. Ugh, I think 
have allergies. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to use the back of my hand. Woo! Okay, to mix it. I just got more than I needed, but then I'm going to add the Cover FX drops. I'm going to use three just to make it really full coverage. And I probably, yeah, I think I got too much foundation, but I'll probably end up using it all anyway. So I'm just going to mix that up. And put some on my face. Oh, mix with the hair. Not good. Yeah, I got too much. All right, then. We're gonna take our brush, which is like a bunch on my hand. <laughs> All right, and just blend that. Yeah, this one's a little bit less dense than the Sedona lace, but hopefully it'll still work pretty well. Because for a $6.99 brush, I mean, that is just really awesome. Alright, let's blend that forehead in. That's why I wish I kind of had a, a viewfinder so I'd be able to like bring you guys closer and still be able to see what I'm doing. But I don't. Let's make sure that's all blended. Alright, I think that's pretty good. It's a little spot right there, but I don't think it wants to cover very much. I do still prefer my beauty blender, but I mean, the brush works pretty well, but I also don't like to use brushes too often because it can, um, especially if you have like sensitive acne prone skin, it can kind of like um, micro exfoliate and cause more breakouts, so I don't like to use it too much, but to wait for my other beauty blenders to come in the mail. So, then we're gonna take Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, as always, which, with this foundation combo, it's like, I almost don't need it, but then I still like to brighten a little bit with it though anyway, so. I'll just go ahead and use it. And then I'm going to take the small end. That's like the only part that's like still kind of decent. I've been using my Real Techniques uh, sponge a little bit. Which is like $5.99 or $6.99 at Ulta. And it works, but I just... I don't know. It just doesn't compare to the actual beauty blender. So it's like, 
I'd recommend that if you absolutely can't get a beauty blender, but uh, yeah, I just, just everything about it is just so much better. Alright, I'm going to go over a little bit more to just kind of smooth things out from the brush. So, yeah. There's like a definite difference from using just the Maybelline Fit Me to adding the drops. It's just like a lot more coverage. And I really like it. Alrighty. So then I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime CC powder that I always use to set because it just works better than anything I've tried and it just kind of like even um, fills in the pores Ugh. fills in the pores, mattifies and all that good stuff and I like this shade adjust because it just kind of Ooh, I just got that all over my lap. Ah, what am I doing today? I always do that when I film. Seriously, I did that last time too. Other day I tried to not use as much of this like on my forehead and stuff, but I did notice a difference. And it definitely wasn't matte as long, so yeah, it just definitely helps. Alright. Then I like to take a little bit of my Cover FX powder foundation. This one has like hardly anything left. Um have some everyday minerals on the way so that's going to be my replacement Concealer brush. Okay. All right. And then for bronzer, um, my favorite right now is my It Cosmetics Matte Bronzer. I'll swirl the brush around.
y'all hear that mower in the background? A little annoying. I know it looks like a lot, but like it doesn't pick up a whole lot at once um, from this bronzer, which is good because then you can kind of, if you want to go really light, it's really easy to do that, or you can kind of build it up and it just goes on really sheerly and a lot of it's just blending too. Dang spot. Keeps coming uncovered. Okay. I usually put bronzer on my neck to match. I don't think I need a whole lot. Um, to do that, I just use my NYC color wheel just because this one's like super cheap. I'm going to take a tiny bit. I don't think I need a whole lot. Alright. And then for blush, I'm going to use my Amazing Cosmetics Pink Chocolate. I kind of held off on using this for a while. Because I had already hit pan and I don't want to use it up. But yeah, because I used this like crazy when I first got it last summer. But it really is just a beautiful kind of everyday color. And again, I like my blush. To show. And then to brighten under the eyes, I've been liking this Wet n Wild Contour Palette, which is new. Um, I happened to see it at Walmart when I was kind of exploring the makeup section, since I don't really go to Walmart that often. Um, but yeah, it has a highlight, a totally matte highlight, which I love, and then a contour shade, which I've only used this like once. Um, I'm not huge into contouring. I like to just use a bunch of bronzer to warm up my face. So I like it a little bit warmer bronzer. Um, but you know, maybe I'll try that a little bit more later. But this matte highlight is just perfect. If you're oily like me, it kind of helps mattify a little bit too while brightening um, under the eyes. So it's like perfect if you're oily. And like obviously it's matte, so it doesn't add any shimmer. But just kind of brightens a little bit. So Alright, and then, alright, I'm gonna, I do want a little bit of an actual highlight, so I'm gonna take my MAC MSF and Light Scapade, just put that on the cheekbones, down the nose, and Cupid's bow. Gonna do my brows and I'll be right back again. 
Okay, I did my brows and then I was just gonna go ahead and dry my hair, but I remembered, can't forget the setting spray. I mean, seriously. I was like, if I ever forget before I get up, I remember like as soon as I go into the bathroom, like, I look a little powdery. So I gotta fix that. Scandinavia, as always. Probably don't need that much, but <sighs> I just love it. And it's such a fine mist that it doesn't like, you know, cake up or anything. <sighs> it's so refreshing. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm gonna dry my hair, and I'll be right back. And I'm back again with dry hair. Which feels really, really clean right now because I did a, one of those really intensive clarifying treatments last night. I really needed to do one before I colored my hair again. So, yeah, hopefully get rid of some of that product buildup and, like, hard water grossness. So I hope this video was helpful um, or you at least liked it. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in another video very soon. Bye guys.